Hi everyone, I'm going to quickly go through the process of migrating animations from one project into a newly created third person template project. This video is a part of my advanced character locomotion series, albeit an optional one. So I'll be demonstrating the process using the animations from the unarmed upright strafing locomotion animation set. The end result of this video will be the starting point of the project that I'm using for this animation tutorial series. I'll start by creating a new third person template project before moving over into the project that contains the animations that I want. In this case, it is the UUS Anim Set project. Inside of its content folder, this animation set contains animations for the Unreal Engine 5 skeleton and animations that were retargeted to the Unreal Engine 4 skeleton. I'll only be migrating the UE5 skeleton animations. I'll open up the content drawer and navigate into the file that has the animations I want to migrate. This file titled UE5 inside of the animations folder contains the animation sequences that I will be using for the advanced character locomotion series. I'll right click into the file and select the Migrate option. This window is called the Assets Reports window, and it is showing me all of the files that will be migrated. It has automatically selected the files that these sequences contain references to, such as the skeleton asset that they reference, which is stored in the demo folder. I'm going to ensure that nothing from the control rig and engine files is selected before I click OK. Next, a file browser opens up I'll enter into the contents folder of my target project and select OK. I'll click back into the project that I created earlier. If I open up the content drawer, we can see that the UUS file structure has been migrated into this project. It contains the sequences and their dependencies. Even though the animations from this anim set use the same skeleton as the third person template character, the skeleton from the UUS project was migrated as well because the project had no way of knowing that we were migrating the animations into another that had a compatible skeleton. It isn't a good idea to have two matching skeletons inside of the same project. So I'm going to go through a series of steps that will result in the migrated animation sequences referencing the skeleton that is part of the third person template content as opposed to the skeleton that was migrated into this project with the sequences. I will navigate into the UUS anim set folder and make my way to its skeleton asset. Once I've found it, I'll right click on it and select the delete option. I'll select the SK mannequin that is part of the third person content from the replace references drop down menu. Next, I'll select the red replace references button, which will delete the skeleton and replace it with an invisible redirector asset that will redirect the animation sequences to the skeleton asset that I just selected. This is done so that the engine process responsible for deleting the asset I'm replacing the references to doesn't have to search for, find, load, and modify all assets referencing the asset that I am deleting. We'll tell the engine to go through that process momentarily. I'll click OK to confirm my choice. I'll click on the filter icon under the Other Filters expandable menu. I'll select Show Redirectors. The redirector that the engine just created is now visible. I'll right-click it and select the Fix Up option, which will search for, load, and update the assets that reference the redirector. Our migrated animation sequence assets now truly reference the third-person mannequin skeleton. I no longer need any of the assets in this demo folder, so I'll back out into the UUS animation set folder, right-click on, and delete the demo folder. Now, if I navigate into the animations folder and open one of the sequences, we can see that the skeletal mesh has been replaced by the default one assigned to the SK mannequin skeleton. These animations were motion captured on a male, so I'm going to change the default skeletal mesh of the SK mannequin to the Manny skeletal mesh. Now, if I save the skeleton, close the tab with the animation sequence open, and then open the same or another animation sequence, we can see that the Manny Skeletal Mesh is now being used to preview the animation. 
All right, everyone, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below or ask them in the Discord server linked in the description. I'll answer them as soon as I have time or directly in the next video that I make. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time.